Ever the optimist, I am hoping that this is almost there and um, I'm going to try and um, finish it today. So that probably won't happen, but I'm going to give it a shot. So I'm now going to be working completely from the photo because I want to have a uniform, um, uh, credible lighting on here. So uh, I think I am going to knock back some of this and I've got some detail to do here in the hands um, and the glasses, I haven't put the glasses in yet. Um, they're a kind of a bit of an important device from my point of view. And uh, the other thing I'm going to be doing is um, putting the shadows in. So that will then make sense. It will ground the figure because at the moment the figure looks a bit strange. Um, and I'm thinking about possibly adding some texture on the tiles, particularly towards the front. If you look back on a previous video, you'll see that's what uh, my 10 year old Tom was suggesting. And I can definitely see the point in terms of giving a sense of, um, uh, you know, perspective. Uh, we'll see. Anyway, here's a time lapse and see what you think of progress. OK, so you can see my palette there at the bottom and I'm just going over the background around the uh, pictures on the wall looking to tone it down so make it slightly darker and it takes me a few goes in this session to get the right sort of level um, so I'm looking all the time at the level of value difference between the different pieces of wall and also trying to look at the edges and not make the edges too stark um, and also looking at how the light changes as it goes up the walls so I have slightly adjusted the angle of that picture, the big um, oil in the background, and you'll see me putting in some shadow along there as well. And now I'm just trying to rework those edges to blur them out a little bit. And eventually I uh, give up and resign myself after looking at the photo a bit more to making that yellow patch, which is on the right when the picture is up upright it's a yellow wall in my studio um, it basically it needs to be less bright at this point disaster has struck namely i took the painting outside and looked at it in natural light and have um have hit some quite tricky obstacles that i need to think through um, so firstly the face looks really pink in natural light Secondly, the brushwork looks really crude. It's very topical because I was discussing with a friend recently how, how different things look when they are backlit on the grid compared to if you buy a painting online and then you get it home. And I'm very conscious of that and um, conscious of, uh, you know, quite often I take photos of my paintings and then look at them in the evening them and do stuff like that and I'm there kind of admiring the day's work backlit and um, and here's the difference so um, it's really hard to know what to do so what I am going to do is I've taken advice from my 17 year old I'm going to proceed with getting this shadow in now so I'm going to do it glazed with just burnt umber probably and check the perspective on the bin um, the verticals in the photo are not vertical, they are, they splay out uh, because of the perspective of the photo. So I've kind of gone with a photo perspective on the floor, but I think it actually looks better with the verticals vertical up there, but that's something obviously I'm mentioning because I'm not 100% sure. So I'm using a streaming light, which I've set onto a very, uh, the coldest light. So it's cold and bright, um, mimicking daylight and uh, that means I can carry on painting into the evening. So here is the next, um, here's the next bit. Starting with those shadows, I'm using a glaze of burnt umber and French ultramarine, trying to vary the edges and be very observant of where they're blurred and where they're sharp, and then strengthening the chair legs, giving them a bit more shape and then cutting in around the edges where, if you look closely on the photo, there are elements of the chair showing at the sides. 
And now I'm also glazing over the um, elements, the white elements that are popping a bit too much in the background, just to knock them back a bit. So now I'm adjusting the legs. I noticed that kneecap was a bit too turned in and uh, in building up the shadows on the trousers and the highlights and glazing them. So I'm glazing with a French ultramarine. Right, so uh, fingers crossed that is, um, that's okay, but I have absolutely no idea. There's a tiny bit of light left outside, so I'm gonna disturb the basketball playing boy and um, just take the camera out and have a look at it outside in natural light and see where we're at. Um, I work tilted over like that just to help with perspective and um, go fix on the camera better. Okay, I'll take you outside now. Okay, here it is in natural light. There is a bit of daylight left. Um, just looks so different in, in daylight compared to the camera. But uh, the glazing on the jeans has worked great. They look a really nice, vibrant colour, which they are. They're quite uh, hideous jeggings. Um, and I think knocking that back has worked okay. Um, have to see in the morning. Anyway, that is the end of today's session. Thanks for watching.